demand response uh, means that you have particular times when consumers are paid to lower or shift energy consumption. At certain times of day, electricity is actually very, very expensive to produce. At other times of day, it's cheap. So what you do is you, you, you help them to shift it. You tell them during all these hours it's very cheap, uh, but during these few hours it's going to be expensive. So please use it during the times when it's cheap. Okay, so it's basically a pricing mechanism. Um, what we found, and there are examples of this all over the world, is that this has a wider social implement in implementations or implications. Um, for example, there is a, a school in New York that came onto mm -hmm. this program. They were only able to shift 100 kilowatt hours at a time, which really uh, didn't even hardly qualify them to be in the demand response program to begin with. Uh, however, they got, they, they started, they began to learn, they began to become more aware of how they were behaving as a school. They now shift 300 uh, kilowatt hours of load, so they've tripled their ability through automation. Um, but this has had a much wider social implication for them as a community or as a center of a community. They're now using 95% biodegradable soaps. Uh, they are buying green energy. They are investing in solar panels and above and beyond that, the students are beginning to have contests between themselves of what they're able to do at home. So you see that really a demand response program can begin in one place, but it doesn't end there. It has a snowball effect that works through in a beneficial manner throughout the society.